pass the milk, please? Please pass the milk, please. Please pass the milk, please. Okay, we're back in image ready, and I've already lined up all the different layers. And the reason I did that is because now our work is a lot easier. So here we are in frame one. The first body, the front head, will go to new frame. Since I've already lined everything up, I just hide this body, show this body, and then pick the head I want. And I think over here, we'll use this guy, go to frame three, hide this body, show this body, and we will use the back head. Where'd that go? Here it is. And so on. I'm doing a rough job here. I'm just trying to get this done in the time limit I've got. YouTube limits me to 10 minutes, so I'm going to be kind of quick here. But over here, we can go to this end. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer and then drag it under the body. Kind of cool, his shoulders kind of over his chin there. Uh, keep moving along here. Use that same head again. Just move it over, just nudge it over. The good thing about Image Ready is you can nudge a layer and it will remember where it is. So you see his head moves from frame five to frame six. Even though we're using the same layer, it still remembers where we moved it. Uh, let's see. Seven. And here, I guess we can keep the same head. Nudge him up here. And that brings us to here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch the head. Go back to the previous layer. Same thing, just different layer. This time I can drop it on top. I can line it up right on top of his neck, like so. That was me getting an email, so disregard that beep. Anyway, um, and now we can play it and see how it looks. And that's not right. Hold on, what did we do wrong? Whoops. Uh, I see the problem is the duplicate layer showing up in all frames. Okay, so that looks right. And Any change you make to the first frame will automatically reflect on all the others. So when you create a new layer, sometimes it'll do that. But anyway, here we go. Go, man, go. All right, we see Ron Paul doing a roundhouse kick. Boom. And by switching between the heads and moving the heads, either on top of or behind the body, it adds an extra little illusion of depth that it's really him. And so I'm going to take this file now as is, and I'm going to export it. File, export, Macromedia Flash, SWF file. And for my background, I, it doesn't matter because there is no background. JPEG quality at the best. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah default option. Fine. Okay, so you'll play with all this a lot more but I'm going to now export the file and we'll come back to this now. I'm going to go ahead and do two other animations, one of him running and one of him walking, but they all work exactly the same way as this one does. So uh, we'll come back in part three and go to uh, After Effects now and start compiling everything together. That's where the fun really begins.